So the channel has made many burgers in the past on the show. We are talking from Big Macs to Baconators. And also do not forget that Molly Smash. We have made those all kinds of ways. And maybe none better than that crack burger that we made last week. If you've not seen that video, I will drop a link up top and definitely down in the description. You are gonna wanna check it out. All that said, I gotta tell you, maybe none of those burgers were better than the burger that I made on this show here today i am telling you it is through the roof with flavor and i am going to have it broken down step by step so you can make it too of course we are talking about the in and out burgers flying dutchman so look what i want to do here is let's drop our camera down below we definitely have a little bit of prep work to do after that i will bring you back and we will fire up the griddle and get to griddling and that'll lead us right into our ingredient list. And as always, you can get a full ingredient list down in the description. So this one's gonna get started with our burger sauce. And of course, I am talking Duke's mayo, three tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of relish. How about a little bit of yellow mustard, a couple splashes of apple cider vinegar, and of course, some Worcestershire sauce. So basically from there, what you wanna do is you wanna incorporate that well. Once you've got that all incorporated, of course, you can taste it. If everything checks out, you wanna get that in a fridge so it can chill out. So choosing your onion here is very important to the recipe. You want to grab the biggest onions you can get, and usually that is going to be your yellow onion or your white onion. I would completely stay away from the red onion as I feel it is just going to be too overpowering to the dish. And remember, these are going to be replacing the bread, so it is going to be two slices per burger, and you definitely want to make these onion slices at least a good solid quarter inch, even up to a half inch. So basically what I am gonna do here, I am making two Flying Dutchman's, but I will cut up about six or seven onions. I gotta have a couple on standby just in case something goes wrong. If everything goes right, no worries there. I will take the extra onions, put them in the house, and use those in an omelet. People certainly hate the way I say onions, 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 onions. So we've got our onions, we've also got our burger sauce, and the only thing left to do is cover the burger patties. So for the patties, I definitely like to use 80-20 chuck. This is store purchase chuck, nothing fancy there. A little trick that I have done in the past and will do it here on the show is I've got a big top that came out of a big pickle jar. That is gonna make perfect four ounce patties. I am gonna take a one pound 80-20 chuck. I will split that four ways. Basically, you just push it in there and that is gonna form the perfect four ounce patty. And now look, if it does stick, a little bit of a trick here. And also, if you are gonna keep the burgers, uh, freeze the burgers or keep them overnight or whatever, you you can get a piece of saran wrap, lay it down in there, press the patties in there, get it nice and compact. At this point, it is just gonna come right out. And right there, guys, that is gonna be your perfect four ounce patty. So look, finally, we get to walk on over to the griddle and fire that up. So for today's cook, the halo griddle is gonna get the call. And basically, I will have my two middle burners up and medium. The two end burners for now will be off. So look real important here. You want to maintain control of your griddle temp at that 300 to three and a quarter range, as you definitely do not want to burn the onions. They will not be on long enough to caramelize them, but you do want to bring them up slow. You want a nice browning on them. You want to release all the sugars in the onions. And after I get the onions on, I will drizzle a little bit of oil. I am cooking on a slant, so that oil is gonna flow right down into the onion. That there is gonna be perfect. And I'm thinking maybe three, four minutes at that 300, three and a quarter will do you nice. If you've got any onion stragglers, you could certainly pull them off. And after about three to four minutes or so, you want to take a little bit of a peek underneath and make sure they're as browned as mine are, because that is just about perfect. And we are certainly sitting pretty at that 300, 315 range. At this point, I will carefully flip them over 
You wanna try to keep the onions together, so definitely go slow. And again, the color that you are looking at there is the color you are definitely gonna to wanna to try to achieve. Once you get them flipped over, I am gonna hit them with just a little bit of salt and a little bit of 16 mesh black pepper. At that point, you are gonna grab your cheese. I've got some leftover Gouda and also Jack. I will hit one slice of cheese on each onion. And I gotta tell you, at this point, they are not gonna take long, maybe another two minutes or so. I've got a cool zone over to the left. After that, I will slide them over and get the burger patties on. So with our four perfectly cooked onions cheesed up and pushed to the side, it is time to get our patties on. And by now our temp on the griddle surface is up into that 400, four and a quarter range. That is gonna be perfect. Patties go down and look, you are gonna wait about two to three minutes or so. You could take a peek. After that two to three minutes, we will flip the patties over and that sear is exactly what you want. I gotta tell you, man, there is nothing as satisfying in the cooking field as watching some burger patties on a griddle surface sizzling away. Maybe bacon beats it out, but I gotta tell you, it is one, two, there is no doubt about it. After that flip, you are gonna wait another two to three minutes. You could put a little bit of salt and black pepper on. By now, you are gonna hit them with your cheese. I know, I know, I am going with American cheese. You can choose your favorite. To me, American cheese belongs on a burger, so that is what I am gonna use. And I gotta tell you, man, these are some slippery suckers with that little bit of a tilt on my griddle, man. They are sliding all over the place, but they are definitely looking absolutely incredible. I have to tell you so far I am certainly impressed. Once you get them all cheesed up it is time now to stack them on your onions. Carefully get them stacked on the onions after stacked up it is time to get that lone onion and you are going to flip it on top of the burger. And again, I gotta say, I was taken aback by how slippery these are. Once you get them all stacked up, it is time to get them on a plate. I will move them into the shack. And I gotta tell you, man, they certainly are looking good. I will let these sit here on the board, maybe for about three to four minutes. At that time, I will bring you back. We will do that taste test, talk about it, and close out the show. Alrighty guys, so look, that was uh, interesting cook for sure. Definitely a little different. And look, at first I, um, I thought this is gonna be kind of like a novelty type cook. Not really, I didn't take it too serious, but as it came together, I could tell you right now, man, there is some flavor in these burgers. Now look, I wanted to keep them keto, so I didn't add any sugar to help caramelize those onions. And for sure, these are probably better off eaten with a, uh, with a knife and a fork, but that is not the way we want to do it here. Let's go in, let's do that taste test, and let's talk about it. Oh yeah, oh. I mean, you know this is gonna be good. So right off the bat, I could tell you, it held together pretty good, it is, uh, you know, wrap this up. I can easily see somebody serving this. Again, no knife and a fork would probably be the call for me, but let's go on in and let's see what we got. Cheers. All righty, guys, look, and I have to tell you, I probably have never been more shocked on any type of cook, and that even goes to those crack burgers that I did. This is absolutely amazing. If, if, if you like onions, uh, they're out in the forefront, man. Uh, this is a pretty incredible burger, that is for sure. I would even have to say this is better than the, uh, this is better than the crack burger for sure, man. It, it, it is just, I'm a big onion. Uh, I love the flavor of onions. These are cooked pretty perfectly, not, uh, not burned, just darkened. I'm not gonna say they're caramelized because they weren't on there long enough. Um, but they are uh, crunchy on the inside, soft on the outside, so I would guess that is pretty perfect. And uh, these are a must make, there is no doubt about it. Would I ever make these again? I sure would, man. I go on and off keto uh, a lot during the year. 
and I could easily see myself sauteing these up uh, up in the house and again eating it with a knife and fork. This uh, this sauce right here definitely adds to it. I gotta go in, man. That's an incredible burger, man. That is one incredible burger, man. There is a lot of flavors in there with them, uh, with them onions and the cheeses and uh, the juices from the burger meat, man. I'm gonna give this a solid nine out of 10, man. That is, uh, that is easily a must to make. There is no doubt about it. So look, man, that is gonna close out this show. I am glad I am bringing this cook here to you because these are, uh, these are pretty cool for sure. Again, I appreciate all you guys for watching. Spring is just getting going, man. We are gonna have one hell of a year, I can guarantee you that. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.